Hello and welcome back to SimCity. Last time, the game trolled me hard and decided to not let me stop a bloody uh, great work from happening. Well, it is happening. I lost the money, but that's pretty much all there was to it. Either way, we won't really complain about that. There's still three more slots for great works in this region, so I don't really see a big problem altogether. Now, we are going to upgrade a couple of roads. Namely this one, which I believe I built last time. But for some reason, I didn't do it a high-density road. None of these are, which is kind of weird and bizarre, if you ask me. But it's fine now. Uh, maybe this road too. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay. Uh, let's do this too. Simply because I have the feeling like these buildings could all become high density one day or another. Let's see now, what is our need? Worker shortage. I concur. But the problem is, unless there are bigger buildings that are going to raise up upwards Mr. Zone Man, I won't be getting a lot of space to do those, uh, w to solve that worker shortage. That's it. Uh, abandonment issues are still strong in this town. Where is another one here? Alright, is this it? Apparently not. No, no, that's it. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, we started with the Arcology thingy. And we lost quite a lot of money. However, the good news is that I'm getting money quite fast. I have 12,000 money. I have lots of student and our solar farm great work is being developed, which is splendid, of course. Now, what is the goal of this episode? I would love it if I could hit around 100,000 inhabitants with this city. I've never been able to hit 100,000 yet. And truth be told, let's check the happiness meter to see what the issues are. My approval rating is super low. We need money, oh, this place is Germany, oh no, we're sick. Didn't like this. What? Kids don't go to school. That's a lie. I have university. Apparently these guys cannot get into school for one or the other reason. Why is that? Are they simply not getting connected? Not enrolled. What is going on here? Ontario North? What is going on? Ah, they're going to be fine, I suppose. I could actually get a library down here. Just about... Let me see. Some place that doesn't destroy too much would be optimal. Uh, come on. Are you serious? Do I have to destroy a skyscraper wherever I want to put it? I'm gonna do it here otherwise. Are you freaking serious? Um. Yeah, well. Pfft. Apparently, that's how it goes. Wait, so if I put it here, it won't be enough, because apparently the radius is so small. And if that's the case, then I'll just have to sacrifice this building over here. Won't I? Which is kind of crappy. Uh, yeah, at least one skyscraper has to go, no matter where I place it, which is dumb. Very dumb. I'm gonna place it here. We lost like 2,000 inhabitants that way too, so it better be worth it. Redemption of the Sims. Reha rehabitate, rehabilitate 50 criminals. Indeed, indeed. How many buildings to raise? Jesus friggin' Christ. Let's exaggerate with the abandonment rate game. Just toss in more people that just rage quit on the town. Or something. Oh my god. Buildings are getting abandoned like no one's business here. And I kind of don't understand why. Is there more buildings? No. Fantastic. We already have about 300,000, which is not bad considering we had 80,000 at the start of the episode. Now let's check the approval rating. We need money. Medium wealth is super sad. Come on, guys. Cheer up. 
think the problem is that I have only high-tech jobs available. And high-techs are just for high-wealth citizens. In that case, we'll have to uh, place more... Not enough shoppers, but oh my god. If that's, if that's the case, then we're going to crush this square here and replace it with industrial uh, commercial. That's my train of thought right now. I don't know if it's right or wrong, though. What? That's my house? Alright, we're gonna keep that, apparently. I thought that I had a mansion, though, don't I? Apparently, I, I know, I didn't reach this, the, the approval rating yet. Right. Alright. Okay, more abandoned houses. Go figure. Okay. Is there any well anywhere else where oh, come on, give me a break. Anywhere else where Oh my god, are you freaking serious? Fine, let's do it this way then. You're all fired from the city. I don't need your medium well, medium I mean medium wealth low density buildings crap in here. There. This should produce more working places for the people, hopefully. Because as you can see, we have a high wealth de commercial demand, and I don't think this is all high wealth. No shoppers! Jesus freaking Christ. Look at this. Look at this. This is insanity. What is going on with this game? I'm borderline ready, ready to abandon the city because this is a complete mess. I'm ready to abandon this game because this is a mess. <sighs> the game just doesn't want to do it by, the by themselves, apparently. We're losing residential slots because of commercial buildings. Of course, there are great places to shop half the city's commercial now. Well, not really, but still. I do like the fact that skyscrapers are starting to slowly get into this zone, though. That's good. Alright. Uh, apparently medium wealth is getting a bit better now. Industrial is bad. Angry we need skilled workers. Well, all the workers are skilled, basically. It's just that I don't have many of them. What else could I can sell from this city? I have a feeling like these houses don't produce a lot of wealth and could be replaced easily with more. What now? Fire service is slow. Hell if I care. Okay, let's replace also these houses. Because that's a thing now. No, don't destroy that. Just destroy the free houses. And this tiny bastard. Where else? Industrial, of course. Alright, more commercial. So here's the deal. More commercial means more places to sell industrial products, right? If that is the case, then I will be able to have more people sell their products from the industry, meaning that industry generates money, and through the money generated by industry, commercial gets products which are then sold to the people that produces the products. Which is kind of dumb as an idea, but still, it's the circle of life, I guess. People are dumb, they earn money for the things that they... and they spend it for the things that they per they, 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 they did, basically. I don't know how to define it, but that's pretty much how I think it works. Uh, is this a high wealth building? No, I don't think so. But people are transforming this square into something, which is good news. And there's a lot of wasted potential here. How much would I lose if I destroyed this? There. Yes, I know, it's a bit of a mess to do this right now, but trust me, I have the feeling like this might be useful for traffic reasons as well as uh, for higher density reasons. I've had too many roads too close together. 
even these ones. However, these ones are connected to free skyscrapers in a giant park. These, however, isn't. Uh, should I? Yeah, let's do it. There. Traffic is getting slightly improved this way. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Just that little bit that requires some love, if you want to call it that. You get away. Was that the only abandoned building? Apparently not. Alright. Alright. Things are starting to slowly get improved. Buying 100 megawatts of power from Dark Cloud on in Triton Valley. We still have, yeah, 40.6 available in the region. That's not too bad. Alright, so is the approval rating... Oh my freaking god, are you freaking serious? What's up with the industry right now? Should I just smash everything to high heavens and just replace it with commercial or something? Because this is becoming quite intolerable right now. It's weighing on my approval rating, even if it's actually... It's low-tech industrial, but where is the low-tech industry? Who is the low-wealth scum? Is this it? Get away from my city. We have space only for high-wealth here. Or rather, high-tech. Okay, let's see our approval rating now. Yeah, that's definitely improved it in the industrial uh, level if you check it out this. Also got 1%. Medium wealth and low wealth are still a problem because this is a city for high wealth. That's the main issue right now that I'm having. How is water and such? Water is a bit low. Might need to improve this with a filtration pump. Because I heard that filtration pumps are actually the good deal. They can filter up uh, the polluted water. And they're kinda cute too. Look at them. They're very nice. They're very big too, so there's that. How much would it cost me to improve one of these guys? Or add one of these guys? It would cost me... 400? 200. Let's do this. Can I add one more here? Of course not. That would be too simple, wouldn't it? But I don't think I'll ever need more than that anyway. Unless I get a high bang in boom, or whatever you want to call it, in uh, people, in inhabitants increased. I don't know. Get out of here. Get out of here. No one wants you inside the city. There we go. So at least now we have less abandoned buildings, which is of, of course good news. Traffic doesn't seem to be an issue at all. We have 10 high density, high wealth residential buildings in your city. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, now we're having an increase in building size. Yeah, now the density seems to be increasing now that we've eradicated the issues with both space as well as whatever else there was. Which is very positive. Is this road high density? It is. Okay. This road could get high density though. So that we can have a couple more houses. Truth be told, I should destroy this road, shouldn't I? I have the feeling that would be kind of coming in handy. Yes, let's do that. Yes, sure, I lose a couple of houses, but in the at the end of in the end of the day. I have a feeling that will help, because, you know, high density is better. Do we have anything to bulldoze? Oh, yes, we do. We have lots to bulldoze. Um, I have the feeling that it's mostly the awkward positioning of the industry, the issue here right now. You see, the industry is quite separated from the city. As in, the city is down here, while the industry is up there. And that causes some issues through that. Well, now with this. Perhaps the reclamation line. What? Storage full? Well, ain't that awesome. I can't seem to complain about that. So, what is the issue? We have full plastics or something? We have 20 tons of aloe and we have full plastics. Okay, let's build another warehouse then. 
Uh, trading, uh, trade depot. Oh god. I didn't realize they take that much space. Well, this is abandoned, obviously, so we might as well just place it here and not care. Right? There. Now, can I destroy this crap here? Yes, I can. So, yeah. So now we can actually place what I want to place. And that is alloy. And plastic. Alloy. And nothing anymore. But that's fine for now. That's super fine. Okay. Fantastic. Alright. So we have 600 tau. Here. 623,000 uh, simoleons. Which we got basically all in one single episode. We're getting serious money here. And what else do we have in this city? We have about 60,000 inhabitants. We we don't re we didn't reach them yet. That's the issue. What do you want? Our city is pretty big now. If we had a bus terminal, we could bus in tourists, which would be great for business. You see, we have already a bus terminal, just not in this city. Vacant factory. Any other ci city building needs some raising? There should be. I don't know, there's, uh, that's all. I would love that these buildings would get a bit higher in density, but they still need to, to make some profit for that to happen. Alright, so now we could uh, put more delivery trucks, right? So that... Uh, oh god. Yeah, I missed that one. I missed that one quite good. There we go. They don't cost a lot, so I might as well just place all of them. So now this garbage will be taken directly uh, here and here. As you can see, we have don't. We could actually. Let's do this. Uh, so we export it. Plastic and alloy. Jesus Christ, we could make some serious money through that. I just don't understand why I can't export uh, the crates of industry here, as you can see. These ones are just accepted uh, locally, which is kind of sad, but it's how it works. Fantastic, so now we're gonna make even more money, as if we needed it. This is almost 30%, which is great news. And uh, we're about to hit uh, maybe 60,000 inhabitants kind of nice. What's the issue? Worker shortage, of course. It's always an issue, isn't it? Four buildings to be raised. One, two, three. Where is the fourth one hiding? Is the question. Around the corner, of course. Alright. Clothes need workers. Okay. Now what? Hazmat? Hazmat. Jesus freaking Christ. Alright, I think we'll we'll have to replace it with this one then. As this one has the fire ha, fire department the, the big fire department has uh, the protection against uh, hazardous material flames and such. Maybe we should actually place it up here. How does it upgrade though? Doesn't seem to have any specific lines of upgrading, so that's good news. Let's uh, let's see our options first. Down the middle of the city would be better, like this one, like here, for instance. That's for sure. However, uh, are these commercial buildings? No, they're not. Damn it. Um. Right. Never mind. We're gonna just place it here. You're getting away. Now let's see. No, don't bulldoze it. Upgrade it so that we have hazmat. Uh, fire mount hazmat garage. That's an additional 250. We can deal with that. Not approved? School of Engineering? Oh, that's... Space of response time. Okay, let's put this one for now. How many vehicles do we have anyway? 
we have uh, one truck, which is kind of bad. But we can place lots of decorations, which I love. Fine, we're gonna place one of these. This one adds how many tracks? One track! Okay, this was a bit of a criminal thing to do, right? Oh well. There. Alright, this costs a lot and we don't have ha ha hazmat coverage, sadly. Until we get 2,000 students, we will never have it, huh? Safety meh. Come on, we have a fire station, so we can do it. No. Oh crap, what was that? I heard a big boom. Oh god. I guess that's what hazmat caused. The boom. As a chemist, I know how hazardous chemical materials could be. So let's see how many students do we have daily. 1,000. That's not enough. Not enough at all. I'm a bit of a stand at a standstill right now. I can't seem to find to get to get in more inhabitants in this crappy city. I don't know. I really, really don't know. I am having some issues. Slight but serious issues with this game right now. Where is another abandoned building? Where is the abandoned building? Uh, let's put some commercial here, by the way. Or uh, now let's put residential. You're right. You're indeed right. Fair enough. Okay. So. Do we have more tourists now? No, we have zero tourists because that's how it works in this game. Oh god. Oh, this one is gonna dive, Mr. These guys don't uh, get there. Really quick. Yeah, they didn't care. They're like, oh, I don't care. I don't have a care in the world. Alright. So, what did we accomplish today? We destroyed a bunch of roads, we replaced a bunch of houses with a bunch of shops. We got a lot of money, almost one million simoleons, and that's pretty much all there was to it. Huh. Yeah, we're not doing a lot of in this game right now, we're pretty much running around in circles and doing nothing but watching a city grow to nothingness. So thanks everyone for watching this episode and join me next time as we will try to accomplish something at least for a change. Till then, be well. Bye! This was the Loud and Gaming Show. Thanks for watching!